now some more track action. It's the final of the women's 1500 meters, T11, complete visual impairment. Paralympic record set by Sheng Jin in the semi-final, also the world record holder. His name was absent there, but uh, they both belong to her. Gold in the 4 by one which is also going in the marathon tomorrow. Field of six go in this. Sheng Jin with a couple of current titles to her name. Maritza Arango Butraga of Colombia also. Well, here's Yvonne Mosquera Schmidt, Colombian born. But running for the United States now, her husband John sometimes is a guy, but it's Carl Wardell here, and she's the former triathlon world champion from 2013. Finished fourth in the Pan Ams in the 1500. Here's the reigning Asian Games and world champion for China, Shen Jin, Nancy Koech, who's actually been guided by her brother, Jeffrey Rotich. She finished 16th in the 200 meters, but this is more her distance. The current Pan Am champion, Maritza Aranga Betraga for Colombia, her guide Jonathan Sanchez Gonzalez, three times a major championship silver medalist and that gold in Toronto last year. The reigning world 800 meters champion for Brazil, Renata Bazzone Teixeira, and her guide Fernando Ribeiro Jr. And on the inside, starting off for Mexico, Monica Rodriguez, her guide Felipe Modesto Gustazio. Bronze in the 1500 of the Pan Ams last year, and she's based in Guadalajara. Sheng Jin with the world record set in winning the Pan Am gold in Incheon in 2014. So away we go, complete visual impairment. Rodriguez Saavedra for Mexico, Bazzoni Tejera for Brazil, Aranga Batraga for Colombia, Coates for Kenya, Sheng Jin for China, the reigning world champion, and Mosquera Smith for the United States. We all had to get through semi-finals for this. Aranga Vitrago and Chen Jing winning those. Mascara Schmidt looked quite impressive. She's taken up a back berth at the moment with a guide, Kyle Wardell. A good solid uh, push away straight away by Aranga Vitrago. Third place is Koech. Neatly tucked between them at the moment, Sheng Jin. Expect her to be the major danger for the full field. A little bit of movement around, a little bit of jostling. Going to sit eight pace. Now a big shoot up, you'll see, going to fourth place. Monica Rodriguez Saavedra didn't like how she was boxed in. She's overtaken Usone Tijera. And the back marker at the moment in sixth is Yvonne Mosquera Schmidt. But no firm pace being put in this at the moment. And we've got 1,100 metres to go. Yes, you're quite right, Will. They are uh, just cruising along a little, although here is a move now from Zheng on the outside and just making sure both the guide and herself stay out of trouble. But now Zheng wants to do some of the heavy lifting and goes to the front. And interestingly, that uh, Koesh has gone with the leader as well, just tucking in into second position. The head of Arango Batrago who did go to the front, but even though setting a sedate speed seems as though she's just starting to lose a little bit of form. As they come into the home straight, Rodriguez Saavedra would be in next position. So it's Zheng and Koech down the straight. 1.15.15, the first lap of this women's 1500 meters T11. And they are starting to string out now. So as they go past the line with two laps to go it's Zheng in front Koesh will be the main danger as they leave the straight and then a gap to Arango Betrago currently holding the bronze medal position and leads the other trio by a good 20 meters at this stage so there's 11 three quarters to go it's a solid lead isn't it from the top two Sheng Jin the reigning Asian Games and world champion and Nancy Koech, whose only major championship race previously was the 200 metres here. And she was ranked 16th overall here, so she went out in the opening round. But Kenya middle distance athletes tend to make more headlines than Kenyan sprinters. Pulling the foot down a little bit now, Sheng Jin. But the advantage, just around 20 metres, as you can see, over Koech. Then a much 
larger gap back to the Pan American champion from Colombia, Maritza Oranga Buchaga. Gold in Toronto, she actually won bronze in the 4 by one here for Colombia, and then a whole series of silver medals in the last three World Championships. It was Doha, the 1500 meters, and then the 800 in Leon and Christchurch before that. So the bell is on the way, and it's Shen Jin who leads to China, ahead of Koech in second place, and Shen Jin is bolting away, and there's been no immediate reaction yet from Koech in second place for Kenya. Aranga Petrago is in third for Colombia, and the rest are pretty much well back and forth. This Rodriguez Saavedra, who's only getting the bell now, and about 90 metres ahead. It was a 72-second lap. That marker is over on the far side. Sheng, the rhythm looks a little bit ragged, but she's well out in front. Big move to the outside by Nancy Koech. She's not as close as she thought she was, but obviously they're trying to gear something up, but she's adding a little bit of extra distance to that 1500 meters. It's Shen Jin out in front for China, a considerable lead, around 30 meters back to Koech, and an equal distance back to Ranga Petrago now in third for Colombia. There's the final bend. Jin Yubo has paced her quite well. The advice will be coming from him all the way through, but the Asian world champion is on the way to becoming the Paralympic champ as well. Shen Jin will win the 1500 meters, and in second place will be Koech. Had to make sure that she went first. Koech in second place, 4.38.93 the winning time, and Oranga Petrago will take third. New world record as well, and she smashed it by over five seconds. Fantastic stuff from the Chinese. And she's an athlete we knew a lot about for years. Rodriguez Saavedra beaten for fourth place by Bozona Tejera for Brazil, but 4.38.92. Very impressive indeed. She's taken more than five seconds off it, and she's taken almost 10 seconds off the Paralympic record, and she held that as well from two days ago. 4.38.92. Great running. And... Jin Yubo, well, he deserves his medal as well. He guided it very, very well. Koach seemed to be losing away a little bit before the end. Still silver for Kenya and bronze for Ranga Vitrago for Colombia. Well, what a start. Two gold medals for China in the first two of 13 track finals, both world records, but... There she is making an early statement in the, that interesting move from Koesh. So they were playing the tactics. The Kenyan team of Koesh and also Roddick, her guide, but too good in the end. And yes, Koesh, I think she knew she had to get off the inside line at some point at about the 250, but she was also showing signs of fatigue, laying into her coach, looking for that extra support that Jing was going so well and it was never going to stop. So China are off to a fly.